You are about to listen to the message from Pastor Dr. Alfred Hajifowe, the General Overseer of Evangelical Christ Apostolic Church. Prepare your mind to receive from the Lord. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. I greet everyone this morning. Happy Sunday to you all in the mighty name of Jesus. So children of God, I pray that God who has started with us this year, uh, this year and this month, we continue with us and we witness many Sundays to come and many months to come in the mighty name of Jesus. So let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Almighty God our Father, we thank you for this Sunday. We glorify your name for who you are. That is ever thanks the name of Jesus. Here we are this morning again. We want to examine from your word. That you teach us your word in the name of Jesus. And let your word be meaningful in our lives in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. Children of God, you know, we started this month with the title or topic of uh, God never forgets. Let me tell you, children of God, today I want to assure you that God never forgets you. Because so many people thought that God had forgotten them. I want to assure you that God who created you and I have never forgotten us. God is having interest in our lives, in our progress. God is God of love. He loves you. He loves everything that he created because he's our creator. So he, he, he loves us. And that was why uh, we must know that we must be looking unto him all the time. You know? So many people thought that uh, God had forgotten them. I want to assure you, children of God, that God has never forget you. For this, you know, I love that uh, the book of Jeremiah, that chapter 1, verse 5, make us understand that God knows you much than yourself. Before he created you and I, he knows us. He said it in that his word, that uh, before I formed thee, because he was the one that formed us, he said before I formed thee, in the belly, I know thee, and before thou cometh forth out of, of the womb, I sanctify thee, and ordain thee a prophet unto, uh, unto the nation. Because he said before he was being conceived that he knows him, and he has ordained him uh, to be a prophet. Let me tell you, children of God, before God allow you to be born on earth, God knows what he wanted to use you for. It was Satan that deceived so many people. That was why so many people are fitting today. So the purpose of God for your life, you need to pray for it. That because God has never forgotten anyone who is ready for him. It's only when you run away from him that you mix, uh, you know, your glory. The things that he has for you. So I want to assure you that God Almighty knows you before you are born. Like what is told us in the book of Jeremiah, that Jeremiah 29, verse 11. I love that uh, uh, verse. He said, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. So, children of God, look at that. Never you think negative to yourself. Never you think that, uh, you know, that God has forgotten you. It was the, 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 the ministration of Satan that made you to be thinking like that, that uh, God has forgotten you. He said, the, 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 the so talk is of peace, is of, you know, uh, uh, towards us, not of uh, uh, evil. And I pray that evil will never be a portion in the mighty name of Jesus. So many people today think that uh, the, their problem is, uh, you know, is too much. And some people will kill themselves. Some people commit, a, 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 you know, suicide. Don't commit suicide. Don't kill yourself. Don't poison yourself. You don't know the problem that you are facing. is a small thing before God. God can change it. God can take away your sorrow. God can take away your, your calamity away. And I pray that problems will never weigh you down in the mighty name of Jesus. You overcome all the challenges of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. God has never left his own children alone. Never you think that God has leaving you alone. If God has leaving you and forsaking you, you will not be alive. But that's why you are still alive. He showed that God was, uh, you know, still with you. 
So, children of God, I want you to know, and that was why I like uh, what uh, Isaiah even said in his own word, Isaiah 43, verse 5, that say, Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and the gather thee from the west. Children of God. You know, when the enemy has scattered the people of Israel, that the enemy thought that uh, it is finished for the Israelites, that they will, the, the nation will be no more. But God is assuring them that he will still gather them. Let me tell you, children of God, when the problem that you are having, and over your children, over your business, that Satan thought that uh, it is uh, it's finished for you. God can still make your business to grow beyond, beyond your own expectation. So, why can't you look up to him today? Why can't you believe in him today? Why can't you serve him today? Why can't you surrender unto him? So, God is telling you that he has never forgotten you, that you should not be afraid. So, stop, you know, uh, being afraid. I want us to look at the story of about two people in the Bible because of our time. So the first studies of uh, the first woman, uh, person I want you to look, that's uh, a woman. The second one will be of a man. That of a woman is of the, the story in the book of uh, St. Luke chapter 8, verses 43 to uh, 44. You know, that will make us to understand what happened to this woman. And that be, and this woman is like some people today, when they, they have similar experience of, of this woman, they will commit suicide. But look at what happened to this woman. The Bible makes us understand without covering anything from our life by saying that a woman uh, having an issue of blood 12 years, which had spent all her living upon this issue, and neither could uh, be healed of any. Come oh, behind him. That's behind Jesus. This woman came to, to Jesus and they touched the brothers of his garment. And immediately our issues of blood are ceased. So, children of God, you can see what happened to this woman uh, of, of the issues of blood. You know, she, she determined to, you know, to surrender her problem unto Jesus and look at what happened. And well, as she believed and touched the garment of Jesus, you know what happened? The, the issues of blood, the blood ceased immediately. So, children of God, if you too can come unto Jesus today, the problem of your life can be ceased. God can take away the sorrow, the problem that, that have been making you to be crying all the time. So, stop crying. Stop murmuring. God is alive. He can, you know, he, 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 if you can surrender unto Him, I am assuring you that God will care for you. God, you know, God will care for His own children. And when he cared for his own children, anyone that wanted to wake war against us, yeah, uh, the children of God, God will put the enemy to be ashamed. And I pray for you today that all the enemies of your problem they will be put to shame over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. So, children of God, the second person that I want us to look as an example of someone that God has never forgotten in the time of their problem, that is the, the man called Daniel, uh, from the book of Daniel, uh, chapter 6. You know, all know the story. Many of us, we know the stories of uh, the man called Daniel, the Jewish man that uh, was, who was in, uh, in Eunuch, uh, in the palace. You know, and he believed God Almighty, who also and that, and he called upon God all the time. He depended on God. And, uh, the, you know, and he's getting elevation all the time. The other chiefs, the other, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the children of of Babylon, they went more against him, you know, because of uh, uh, his elevation, because of his promotion, because of the goodness of God that was upon Daniel. And what happened? You know, they make law, evil law, that uh, nobody should ask for, uh, for uh, anything from God, but only the names of the king or bow to the, you know, to the image of the king. But behold. Daniel, who knows God, call upon God day and night, three times a day. Children of God, you all know the story. In that uh, uh, Daniel chapter 6, verse 20 to 23, that say, and when uh, they, you know, they, they, when they arrested Daniel and took him to the den of lion, and Bible tells us there that uh, 
And when he came to the tent, he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. That was uh, the king. When the, the, the king uh, thought that, uh, well, the, the king could not sleep in the night because of Daniel. He came to the tent of the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the lion uh, in the morning and he called upon him. So Daniel here that was now uh, with lamentable, lamentable, lamentable voice. He said, and when he came to the den unto Daniel, and the king speak and said unto Daniel, Daniel, servant of the living God, he is thy God, whom thou servest continually able to deliver thee from the lion. Look at the question. So, children of God, if you can serve God, if you can believe God, if you can know that God doesn't forget his soul, like Daniel, you know. You look at what happened. He said, Then Daniel said unto the king, O king, live forever. So he still prayed for the king. He could not cause the king. He was still praying for the king. He's like, the king live forever. He said, My God, I said the angel, and I has shot the lion mouth. That they have not hurt me. He said, for as much. As before him, innocent, was found in me, and also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt? Hmm, look at that. Say, then, was the king exceedingly glad for him, and commanded that there I should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken off of the tents, and no manner of hurt was found upon him because he believed in his God. Look at that. He believed in his God. So Daniel knew that God would never forget him. And God Almighty, you know, surprised both the king and all the enemies of Daniel. I pray today. Every gang up of the enemy, they will fail over your matter. They will fail over your children. They will fail over your business. They will fail over the country. They will fail over the whole world at large in the mighty name of Jesus. So, children of God, I want you to know that if you can believe God that he, will, he, he has not ever forgotten you, I am assuring you that uh, this month of June and beyond, God Almighty will never forget you and he will surprise you and you will have great testimony if you can believe in him, if you can really, you know, surrender unto him. So if you can do this one, I am assuring you that uh, he will show you that he has never forgotten you by, you know, performing miracle in your life because our God is the God of miracle. I pray that your miracle will not elude you this month and beyond in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, Almighty God, our Father, we thank you for the power that is your word. Your powers, the power that is your word, show unto us today that you've never forgotten us. Father, Lord, prove yourself as our Father in the mighty name of Jesus. Prove that you've never forgotten us in the name of Jesus. Surprise us. Help us to live right before you in the name of Jesus. Let Satan be put to shame over our life. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are the one that fought for Daniel in those days. That did fight for us in the name of Jesus. Let Satan be put to shame over our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. The woman of the issues of blood, you surprise her and you surprise everybody that knows about our case. Lord, surprise every one of us and those people that knows about our, our own case too in the mighty name of Jesus. Prove that you've never forgotten us. In the name of Jesus. Over our life, over our home, over our children, our husband. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. Thank you. God bless you. See you next week. By God's grace.